Breast augmentation is a very uh, wonderful procedure in that it's able to change something that uh, really women don't have control to change. Uh, there's all these crazy uh, treatments out there for using pills and, and there's, this, uh, there's some suction devices, but truth be told, if you really want to enlarge your breasts, the only way to do it is with breast augmentation. And this is an operation that can be done many different ways. It can be done with silicone gel implants, saline implants. Uh, there are some new implants that have recently come on the market. And I think patients really have to take some time to do the research and what's best for them in terms of the result they want to achieve. Uh, personally, I prefer to use silicone gel implants. I prefer to use an inframammary incision, uh, but I use the periareolar incision and less and less the uh, transaxillary through the armpit incision. Uh, but all can be done and all can generate the right result as long as it is customized to the patient. I find that many, uh, many practices really have a way that they like to do this operation. They don't allow for room for the customization as much as they should. Um, it, it does make it easier, it's more reliable in terms of what a patient can expect. In other words, their friend went there and they got that, so they're going to get that also. But in my practice, my patients really want a customized approach, and I think each patient has to be evaluated very specifically for this operation. There are many types of breast implants, and recently a new company has entered the arena in the United States. Uh, around the world, the uh, regulatory issues that we have in the United States are not as, uh, as prevalent in terms of the number of breast implants you can get. So the rest of the world enjoys multiple companies, 20, 30 different choices. However, in the United States, for the last, I don't even know how long, probably 10 15 years, there have only really been two major companies, uh, Allergan and Mentor, that have been providing the breast implants. However, recently a new company, Cientra, has come on the scene, and this is a Brazilian company that makes silicone gel implants. Uh, they have some, uh, some different choices, and I think that it's great for, uh, for the U.S. to be able to get a new device in this uh, field but I also think it's a device that needs to be evaluated and so for some women it'll be perfect and for others uh, they'll need to look at sort of the, the other uh, companies such as uh, Allergan and Mentor and uh, it's all really comes down to what's going to be best for the patient.